Hello and welcome to the Philippines. I had to get my Canon SX60 repaired uh, the other day. My my screen had gone blank for a couple months and a place called Allen's Camera Repair, downtown Cebu City, right across from the Unitop store, was recommended to me. And so I finally made my way down there. They told me that uh, the minimum charge would be 2,800 pesos which is about 56 US dollars at 50 pesos to the uh, uh, Philippine peso exchange rate uh, to the dollar. Uh, and that was if the uh, hinge connection uh, to my screen was the problem. If it was something more serious, then it, it could obviously change. Other places I had taken it to in the malls and such uh, had wanted uh, at least 2500 just to look at it and they were going to send it someplace else for repair. So I think the 2500 uh, was just their handling fee to, to send it to a repair shop, perhaps even down here. Uh, so anyway, I made my way down here. Uh, they, I think they texted me late the following day, actually, and told me that uh, the simple repair, the 2800, was it. I could pick it up any time. Uh, if you're looking for a used camera, they've got a number of them down here, as well as lenses, uh, Canon, Nikon, uh, Fujifilm, a few others. And uh, now that I have my SX60 uh, repaired, I'll continue using it. Love my little super zoom. Uh, this is uh, in a little, it's, it's right on the street, right across the street from the Unitop store, which is a a big chain of stores here, kind of like a, a Walmart. And uh, they have a number of them in the Cebu City area. If you ever get a chance in, in other cities in uh, the Philippines as well, check out the Unitop store. They've got uh, some interesting goods. I've also done a previous video about uh, Unitop stores. Um, this Allen's camera repair is... Uh, Kind of at a there's there's a lot of little alleys that go go off of the uh, main street here. Now the problem I had with my Canon camera, I've had this uh, bought it a few months before I came over here in 2015, so it's about three years old, um, and uh, it's a it's a great little super zoom. It's not pocketable unless you got an awful big pocket. Uh, so I don't carry it around with me every day like I like I do my little uh, GoPro wannabe that I have my my get up get to camera I'm using to film this. And the problem I had was this this little screen that folds out and it is so nice because uh, the screen folds out and uh, it can fold back on itself like that. And it was. I couldn't get any uh, any picture on it. It was completely black, and it turned out that it was a connection uh, in this little hinge here, and that cost me 2,800 pesos, or about 56 U.S. dollars, I believe, to get that fixed. You know, if it had been software or something internally, uh, that would have been another issue. Uh, but it is so nice because that screen can be turned around and for instance I don't like filming myself uh, my videos are not about me they're about the Philippines uh, but but you can turn it around and uh, with the camera facing yourself uh, you, you've got the screen there one problem with that is I found when I was on camera looking at this little screen is that it distracted me. And one person even made a comment that uh, you should be looking into the camera. And what I was doing was looking into into the screen oftentimes and seeing uh, how I was uh, centered in, the, in the, the camera viewfinder, that type of thing. So anyway, this little super zoom, 60x, and I'll just I'll zoom it out while I got it here just to show you what it does. And uh, that is a huge equivalent of about, uh, let's see, of about 1,365 
millimeters on the telephoto length or about uh, 16 to 1. Uh, 16 megapixel camera and it's a uh, sweet little camera. It takes raw, vid uh, takes raw um, pictures for those of you who want to manipulate your pictures uh, substantially after you take the picture if you've got a good sunset or a good picture of something uh, you can go in with a raw uh, picture a raw file and you can do lots of manipulation you can bring a very very dark uh, picture uh, and, and add color add a lot of light to it that type of thing Anyway, I've got a couple batteries for this thing. I have not found batteries here in the Philippines uh, to buy. I could, I could get them online, have them shipped to me. Uh, but anyway, got my camera fixed again and I'm ready to roll. It does have a built-in flash uh, for when you need a flash. And it often will tell me in lower light that I need a flash, but I often don't need a flash. I often get a good enough picture without that flash. Also has a hot shoe up here, and I've got a, I've got a big expensive Canon uh, flash also if I want to do some uh, portrait type photography. Um, records video in 1080p. Also, you'll find uh, many of these little alleys uh, downtown Cebu City and and in other cities I've been in as well. There's just a uh, lot of things down these little alleys, dentists and salons and people selling all sorts of things. So you might want to check them out. Thank you for coming along. Please like, share, and subscribe. Safe travels to you all, and uh, we'll see you next time.